Hi folks, hope you are all keeping well. Here's some amazing facts about the King Penguin discovering the surprising details. To describe the King Penguin, he would have a black head and chin and throat and a vivid orange tearsay patches on each side of its head. The orange coloration would extend to the upper chest and it can grow to approximately 3 foot or just under a metre in height. The King Penguin is the second largest of all the 18 species of penguin. The largest in the world would be the Empire Penguin. Unlike the Empire Penguin, who likes to live on the interior of the Antarctic, King Penguins live in sub-Antarctic islands and peninsulas. They prefer beaches and valleys and level ground or gentle slopes free of snow and ice with access to the sea. And within these islands approximately there's 1,600,000 breeding pairs mm -hmm. on the islands. Their main diet consists of fish, making up about 80% of their diet. They are particularly partial to a small bioluminescent fish called a lantern fish. However, they are also known to feed on squid and crustaceans. King penguin chicks will eat regurgitated seafood from the mouths of their parents. If you like the content, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any interesting facts of your own. Here's a bonus fact for you guys. Penguins can drink salty water. Most penguins live in an environment such as the Antarctic in which there is little or no fresh water, so they have adapted to ways to keep their salt levels balanced. Penguins have a suborbital gland underneath their eyes that filters out salt out of their system. Along with the Empire Penguin, the King Penguin does not build a nest. They stand upright and incubate the egg on top of their feet under a loose fold of abdominal skin called a brood patch. But unlike the Empire Penguin, the King Penguin's parents both take turns incubating the egg. The gestation period for the King Penguin is anywhere from 14 to 16 months. The King Penguin chicks hatch naked and grow down feathers within a few weeks. The chick is dependent upon the parents for survival until it grows its waterproof feathers, which can be anything up to 13 months. The normal incubation for a young is around 55 days. The lifespan for the king penguin is around 15 to 20 years, and they reach their sexual maturity at about 45 years old. The main predators of the king penguins, especially at sea, they would include the leopard seal or the orca also known as the killer whale. On land, the main predator to the young and unhatched eggs of the penguin would be that of the sheet build or the giant petrel. All species of penguin are protected under the Antarctic Treaty that was signed by 12 nations in 1959 and reorganized in 1991. It's there to protect and serve the living resources of the Antarctic and no penguin shall be harmed or any way interfered with. Folks, if you found this video interesting, you might like YouTube's next recommendation about the Humboldt penguin. Interesting. Talk to you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.